explain why AI hallucinates and why it so confidently states things which are actually completely false? Let's just go back to how ChatGPT works. I'm going to explain this in one sentence. ChatGPT, all it does is it predicts the next word in a sentence. So if I ask you, who was the first person to land on the moon? You would probably confidently say the next two words are probably going to be Neil and then Armstrong. So all that ChatGPT and these systems do is they read billions and billions of words and they then look at patterns. And so actually when ChatGP is giving you an answer, it has absolutely no idea what it's typing. It has no idea of the meaning or whether it's right or wrong. And it says that with confidence as well. So the hallucination is when it is actually trying to match things up and it gets into a bit of a loop. There was another story in the New York Times where a journalist was chatting overnight with one of the models and it started to say, uh, you should leave your wife and I love you. And it kept saying, I love you. And it just wouldn't get out of this loop. So it had gone into this loop and the only other answer that it could find that matched the pattern was that I still love you. <laughs> so that's when it starts to hallucinate. And the, the challenge is the data that's in. So show of hands, who knows the data that was put into ChatGPT to train it? We think there are five sources. Um, open and I have not been open about that. We think the first one is the open internet called commoncrawl.org. You can go there and download all of the internet for free. So there's a lot of rubbish in there. The second thing is Reddit links. There's a website called Reddit. If you have more than three upvotes, uh, that went into ChatGPT. The next two sources are some books, unpublished books, um, and a small amount of uh, different uh, words and books from there. And the fifth one was Wikipedia. So when you look at those five sources, they're not all completely qualified. Now, in OpenAI's defence, what they did do is they hired 40 people from Upwork to go through and do a series of tests. It's called reinforced learning. So they would ask it questions and the, um, the 40 people would then go and say, is this a good answer or a bad answer? Now, importantly, those 40 people were sourced from diverse backgrounds. You don't want people just like me answering questions about um, ethical or political bias because I will have my own conscious bias built into that. So we'll get onto this, but part of the challenge is if the data is questionable and you haven't checked it with a diverse range of humans, you're going to have this hallucination problem.